But we go together. Oh. I'm a sucker for all the supreme and the thing that you do. Hey, good morning, good afternoon. Good evening, family. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the mental house. With me, your host, Khadija. Okay. Um, before we get started here, I want to um, also reiterate. Y'all know I don't ask you for much. You know, but I'm asking most of us who are in this room, the subscribers that subscribe to this channel, that... Um, those of you who have donated to the channel, I appreciate it. Um, Y'all know who you are. Uh, those of you who are not able to or, you know, for whatever reason, don't feel like it. I understand that, too. But you can show your support from the channel uh, by ordering a T-shirt. We have them in all sizes. I think we're down to the last 20 or so. Um, but support the channel. Um, get a Control Your Mental House T-shirt. I got one on today, um, and just to let people know you're working on your dome, um, that's it, uh, I ask you to support the channel by purchasing a t-shirt, okay, and that's it, the t-shirts are 10 bucks, um, and like I said, they come in all sizes, and we will, um, definitely, definitely, uh, get it to you, so, Give us your email address. Hit me up at uh, Khadija Anwar at hotmail.com. That's K H A D I J A H A N W A R at hotmail. Also, um, you can go to uh, the Men Mental House TV at wi.rr.com. Or you can cash app at K H A. Dollar, dollar sign K H A D I J A H nineteen fifty nine. Um, either one of those uh, um, um, streams should allow you to um, donate. So thank you very much. I appreciate you. I'm just thanking you in advance. Now, now that we got that out the way, okay. Now, this first, I I gotta do. Uh, uh, this right here because this one, this video really, this article really kind of got me. I got it out of uh, Tiffany Brockworth, okay? And she has this article where <laughs> Irv Gotti, y'all know Irv from Murder, Inc. He talks about artists getting shot. It only happens in hip-hop. Duh! Duh! Where have you been? Where have you been? Have you seen Clear Channel? Why you think they gave y'all that money? Why you think Tavistock Institute uh, perpetuated the madness to help y'all create this stupid stuff that you will sell out yourself and now you're a public enemy, number one. Now nobody got no respect for us. This is the stuff that we laughed at. What was her name? Um, the, the, the woman, the congresswoman in, uh, uh, I think, California. Um, man, name escapes me. Coleman. This is why. Y'all were starting to paint us in the, in the image. They didn't care that it was only a segment of our society. That, like a sub-society, like any other culture. Oh, no. Y'all made it so because they gave y'all money, y'all wanted to call your mamas and your sisters and bitches and hoes, and uh, um, you wanted to walk around with your Glocks, and, and you wanted to promote degrades, filth, violence, and death. And they gave you all the smoke. They gave you all the money. They gave you all the money. And then they also gave you all the smoke didn't they? Because now that behavior has evolved to the point where we all walk around with targets on our back because of a certain segment of our population that got to get it how they live. I ain't saying nothing about it. 
Okay, I know about it. And so I ain't got nothing to say about that. That has to be an internal uh, upliftment. Okay, so if you getting it by shooting and robbing and killing and this that, know that your number gonna come up. The laws of karma dictate that they come up. Stop it, you guys! Stop it! Excuse me, I'm looking at my dogs out the window, and they get carried away sometimes. Um. So, when I'm looking at this recent, the re, oh, let me just. Check, check this article out. The recent shooting death of Pop Smoke shook the nation. Really? Didn't Tupac, didn't Biggie, didn't all those young boys in Houston and uh, New Orleans in 1920 from 17? Uh, I, I just can't explain to you all the young black men that was taken off the planet on dumb shit. Just... Um, uh, I can't even begin. Babies. Babies. And they bought into the narrative that they got to be hard. We grew up them babies now. Now they on perks. Mollies. They full of dope. Drugs and alcohol. Some of us watched us. Us. Our, the, my generation. Do it in front of their kids. Okay, so I apologize for all. I apologize for my generation, although that wasn't me. I apologize for my generation because if we didn't keep the fight going, this is what we have produced, and now we got people sitting around here wondering why we only get shot in hip hop. When shooting like this, and uh, somebody said, "Well, listen, Sam Cook shot." I remember that. I remember that Marvin Gaye shot. That's not the issue. That's not what we're talking about there. And if you would compare the shootings, or if you would just look at it from a perspective of this Marvin Gaye and um, whoever else, they wasn't promoting that violence. We're promoting it now. We're acting like it's cool to pull up, strap, I'm strapped, I'm this. And all we doing is looking at the little babies that's coming up because one day you're not gonna feel that way. If if you blessed to live long enough, you're gonna see how stupid it really is. Because all you doing is getting our us shot by the police. Nobody respects us. Nobody feels that um, they didn't respect us in the first place. Because we were once they servants. Okay? But this type of behavior now that was never part of us. At least to turn on ourselves the way we have. <laughs> this to me is a direct result of what Irv Gotti is talking about. And so let me read this article. He says, uh, of course, after the recent death, he said he don't know why it's only in hip hop and not any other genre of music. <laughs> it's sad. It really is sad. It happens in hip-hop a lot. It only happens in hip-hop. I don't wish that on nobody. But you know what I'm saying? It's not like you're ever going to see Justin Bieber get smoked or whatever. Think about it. Because y'all bought into that narrative. That you bought in, that you chose death over life. You chose to promote death over life. And the outcome of that can never be good, brother. Can never be good. And anybody under the sound of my voice, if you're choosing death today, oh, maybe it don't get you, but maybe it get your mama. Maybe it get your sister. Maybe it get your baby. You got to promote life and not death. So when I see Irv Gotti say something like this, I mean, I'm looking... Because he continued, he said, people be like, well, with hip-hop, you always floss and you always doing this. But, like, what you want niggas to do? Pop Smoke was killed 
Less than a year after Nipsey Hussle was gunned down by somebody he knew outside of his Los Angeles store, Marathon, um, and now Smoke lost his life last month after he was shot and killed during a home invasion in the Hollywood Hills. It was a script. It was a script. It was the same script that Al Capone and hustled in. It's a different time. But it's the same script. It's a script of death. And unlike the Italian boys, y'all couldn't just infiltrate yourself into society. Because remember, we got the complexion. Okay? Which is the card to keep us messed up wherever we go. People look at this color, this the skin. And they already, uh, you know, feel like they can walk over us. They feel like they can just say anything they want to to us. They feel like, they act like we don't have any feelings. And y'all help perpetuate that. Y'all just stand up like men in a different kind of way. Okay. You didn't go the path Malcolm went. Not the majority. A lot of us stayed in the path that delivered death to our front door. So all the mothers that I know that lost their boys, their young men, all the sisters that lost their brothers. I know I lost a brother to this gun, this battle out here. I also lost a sister to domestic violence. But I know what it feels like to have a relative, a loved one shot down by the police. I know what that's like. I also know what it's like to work with musicians that I had, um, that when they would call me in, because I'm just a freelancer now. I used to go in and anybody needs some vocals, I'd take the money and get paid and leave. But it got to the point where I had to, I realized what I wanted my vocals associated with. And death, I don't. I don't. And you have to make up your mind. Do you choose life or do you choose death? And Irv Gotti, that's, this is the result of y'all choosing death. You already know. Murder, Inc. Murder, Inc. Death, Row. What could come out of it? Come on. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm just... You know, I should get high. Cause I'm. I, I, why am I straight? Cause this how I see it. Don't nobody see it like that but me. Why am I straight? Y'all, please help me out with this. Please tell me what y'all think. Give me your opinion, okay? And please share it below. Don't be shy. And let's talk about it. Do you think that a lot of us are the perpetuators of our own misery? See you in the next video.